What's going on everybody and welcome back to another Road to the Goat episode. So we need one more tier 2 victory and hopefully it will not be against the Portland Trail. Well, maybe hopefully it'll be against the Portland Trail Blazers, but I really don't want to face them. I've seen them so many times and I myself may even change up with the teams I play with in tier 1. So Fortunately for us, we get matched up with the Los Angeles Lakers. I know, right? A tier one team. But again, oddly enough, my opponent had way too many violations and we ended up with a victory. So now we need six tier one victories. So now we're on to the next game. We got one tier three win and two tier two wins all three of those wins were pretty lucky i would have to say but we're moving on to the tier one team and that's going to be with the oklahoma city thunder and we are faced up against the milwaukee bucks who are currently in the nba finals so this should be a interesting matchup at the least now i haven't played with the okc thunder the 11 12 one in a while i can't even remember the last time i played with them and so i have to try and get acclimated to how this team play and what their strengths and weaknesses are and we've seen the milwaukee bucks before we know this team is one of the best teams in playing online i'm surprised i haven't seen them more often in playing online but you know it is what it is a lot of people like to go with the golden state warriors or they like to go with another team of their choosing so to get the game underway we're in a bit of a back and forth my defense and it's a constant topic in every video my defense is not the best i mean those past two videos or those past several games that we've seen we haven't really seen my defense because those guys just quit out the game or i kind of got lucky and you know the game ended early so we're taking a look at my defense here again and seeing how it, uh, you know, hold up this time. Because remember in the game where we faced the Portland Trailblazers, our defense was overly aggressive and we were just biting on too much, too many dribble drives and the guy was just having easy lanes to the rim. And this time it's much more important to play off ball or sag off a bit more, especially when we're going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Although they have four guys who could shoot on the outside perimeter, we have to worry about Giannis most of all because you know my opponent, he wants to drive and kick. And since I set my help defense to zero, my guys are not going to come over and help if Giannis drives to the rim. So I have to do a good job of playing on-ball defense and making sure Giannis doesn't get any easy layups uh, when he's driving towards the rim. And immediately in this game, before anything got underway, I went through the set-ins, did all the changes I had to do, and I put Giannis, no, I put, excuse me, I put Kevin Durant to guard Giannis, and we'll see how that matchup fares. And then I put Westbrook on Chris Middleton. I probably could have left that matchup alone, but I, I wanted to be on the safe side and have a better defender on Chris Middleton so that Chris Middleton doesn't get off to such a fast start. But we'll see how both of those matchups play out here. My opponent did nothing special at all in this game. Didn't even make a change at all. He just came out with the Bucks, and his main focus was just to attack the paint with Giannis. And Giannis, that's another guy who is a beast of a player on NBA 2K. Like, the way he's just able to get to the paint. I had Kevin Durant on him, and look at him, just bullying Kevin Durant. I mean, they're about the same size, even, even though Giannis has more strength. Kevin Durant could still play defense. So, that quarter, that first quarter has come to an end, and I'm up by three points. But again, I'm not liking how the defense is being played because my opponent is getting way too easy drives to the rim. Even though I don't want my guys to help, I should still be able to defend Giannis a good amount with Kevin Durant guarding him. But boy, was I wrong. Giannis is something else on this game. Even though my opponent didn't really shoot the ball that well, his ability to run the pick and roll, and I don't know what my guys was doing on the pick and roll. Like, I have it to switch all, but, and I let the computer take over that situation when it comes to them switching on the pick and roll, but how they were playing it, they were playing it so lackadaisical. Like, the guys, they didn't move laterally quickly enough to guard the guy that was driving towards the rim. And if you watch this video, whenever my opponent runs a pick and roll, you can see that 
it's pretty obvious in this game that we had horrible pick and roll defense. You can see that when I let the computer do it, they just did not react to it. Like they didn't take the ball handler or the guy that was guarding the screen setter didn't react to the ball handler coming off that screen and it led to such easy drives and maybe that's a setting that i had in the game where my guys were playing a little bit too close and who knows there's so many settings on 2k that can affect you know different things on how the game play but giannis trying to get his way to the rim i had him there i don't know how he was able to pull that move off but, you know, that's two points for Giannis. And I try to play the best on-ball defense that I can, but I don't have the best on-ball defense. And I didn't really feel like going to a zone. But later on in this game, we did go to a zone. But same thing in the Portland Trailblazers video. When I wanted to get out of the zone, the guys continued to play a zone. And it led to some bad defensive possessions for us. And you'll definitely see that later on in the video. Bad defense by me again. I stepped up for no reason. I need to be stepping down, and that's just a bit of a habit for me. I don't know why I'm so aggressive when I'm switching on to the guy that's about to receive the ball, and I just take myself out of position for no reason. So our offense wasn't the best at all. It was pretty sloppy, to be honest with you. I wasn't really running plays. I was just trying to take advantage of the mismatches that we had with Kevin Durant, Westbrook, or even James Harden. But James Harden, man, that guy did not really do a lot in the game. Giannis, again, simple move to the rim, and I can't move quick enough to block it with Kevin Durant. So my opponent, his offense, nothing special, but he definitely had the lead. So we have Nick Collison, can't get that post-hook shot to go, but we are blessed with an offensive rebound. Kevin Durant dunking on Bobby Porter's head, and that's going to cut the lead down for us. Excuse me, that's actually going to give us the lead. We're up 27 to 26. Now we have to try and play defense. Can we finally get a possession where we play good defense? And look, if you go back and rewind it, or if you were watching how the computer played that pick and roll, we have it set to switch everything. And look at this shot here at the end of the quarter. That was just ridiculous. Like, come on, 2K. Like, I'm seeing those type of shots going way more often. But yeah, getting back to that pick and roll defense, if you have seen on that possession, and good duck by Kevin Durant here, if you have seen on that possession, the computer was just way too slow to react, and I just don't know why. Chris Middleton, we have no help defense, but I kind of caught... I kind of got caught up on the ball handler, and he was left open for a wide open three. So now, we're back on offense. Not looking too good. After that BS shot at the end of the first half, and he's coming out pretty strong, I'm not really liking how the game is being played. And my opponent, man-to-man uh, -man defense was pretty good. We really didn't get no open shots, and you can see on this possession here, shot clock winding down, but we're able to find Russell Westbrook right underneath the basket basket excuse me for two points Brent Forbes I don't know how Nick Collison is guarding Brent Forbes and he's able to take advantage of that mismatch and get the easy basket again overly aggressive gets the dunk with Pat Connaughton now wide open three-pointer with Chris Middleton that's going to be good a majority of the time and my opponent is pulling away bad defense again i don't know what i'm doing here and i had to call a timeout because i did not like how the guys were playing especially i wanted to rely on james harden and look at this shot here he gets it to go with nick collison i don't really play nick collison a lot but i didn't think he was going to be that much of a defensive liability but yeah i was really hoping that james harden or russell westbrook will step up when KD came out the game but that wasn't really the case we really needed all our guys in this game so back on offense, Westbrook, wide open three-pointer. And that's one of the few threes that we hit in this game. It was ridiculous. We were getting so many open looks, but I guess because I haven't played with this team in a while, I was not hitting any three-pointers. And as wide open as I, were, as I was, it just did not fall for us. And so that's why you see in this video, we're just trying to pack the paint, pack and pound the paint, and we're not really shooting a lot of threes or you haven't seen a lot of threes made in this video. So we went to that zone defense and because I wanted to try and stop Giannis from driving towards the rim. But look at this here. 
We're in the zone, but I remember I called a man-to-man -man defense because I wanted to get out of it. And we had three guys in the paint for no reason when I'm playing a 3-2 zone. And you can see when I brought it up on the screen, we were supposed to be in a man-to-man -man defense. So that's the second time again. And look at this shot here. Second time in a row. Shot clock winding down. No shot meter just throws it up. And he gets it to go. It's nothing I could do about that uh, with the fact that we weren't in the right defense that we were supposed to be. And then Chris Middleton hitting that shot at the end of the quarter. It makes it a lot tougher to come back and try and win this game. But we still have a full quarter left. And if I strategize correctly, I can make a pretty nice comeback. But we have to play perfect defense and perfect offense as well. So we're down by about 11 points. And we have to pick up our shooting. Kendrick Perkins. He's playing off-ball defense, and I wish I had a better center at the five position so that way I could get him to come out the paint. Chris Middleton, corner three ball. Can't get it to go, but Giannis is there for the putback. I sent my guys to crash the defensive board, and I know we're not going to get the defensive rebound every time, but that was a pretty important possession there. So finally, James Harden score, and now we have a bit of momentum here. On that previous possession, my opponent had the ball on offense. He was called for a charge because, you know, he was trying to force his way to the rim. So Westbrook to the rim, gets the foul and the bucket to go. So now we're on a bit of a momentum run. We just have to keep playing good defense. When we get open on offense, we'll be able to hit. We should be able to hit our shots. And then we will most likely have the lead. So I left Giannis open in the corner. Good defense. He gets the rebound somehow, puts it back up and in. I contest again, and Giannis hits it. Ah, uh, crazy. So now, not worried about that. We still got time. James Harden in the corner. Three-pointer, wide open, can't get it to go, but Kendrick Perkins is there. So now we're still in this game. I'm sending the double team for Giannis. Westbrook, this time with the steal. Our guys are tired. I give him the pump fake, got him to jump, and Westbrook hits that shot. So now 58 to 54, my opponent has the lead. Kevin Durant, wide open, one point game, can't get the three pointer to go. I don't know if that was because I was tired or what, or we just was not hitting any shots, but. After that shot there with Kevin Durant missing that wide open three-pointer, just did not win the game. And we are faced, if we lose one more time, we have to restart the league. So you can see the stats here at the end of the game. And I only made three threes, but, you know, it's a whatever thing. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.